Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab today with a quick review of the Hercules Jog Vision controller. Now, Hercules is a brand that's been in the digital DJ space for a long time. If you started DJing in recent years, there's a pretty good chance that your first bit of DJ hardware was a Hercules controller. They've always been big in the budget end of things and they've also generally worked with their own software or with Virtual DJ. And as I've never been a Virtual DJ user, they've not really been on my radar. This though is the first controller of theirs to work with Serato software. So comes with Serato intro and can use the full version of Serato DJ if you upgrade to that. So it's a big step into a kind of different market for Hercules. Has that step paid off? Let's find out. The main thing to consider when looking at the Jog Vision is the price. This thing is $300. So whilst we're focusing on professional use here, as we always do on DJ City TV, most of the criticisms I have of the product really won't apply in a beginner's bedroom context. The unit ships with Serato DJ Intro, but can be upgraded to the full Serato DJ, and indeed, some of the functions on the controller only work with that pro software. So Hercules clearly do have one eye on the pro market for this one too, and it's fair to judge it on that basis. The build is pretty good overall, feeling fairly solid in spite of the plastic construction. It's as good as you can expect for the money and fits a lot of functionality into a very small space. The highlight of the unit is, of course, the jog wheels. They're metal, capacitive affairs with nice resistance. The displays in the middle are great for seeing where you are in relation to your cue points, which makes scratching on the jog vision a more fun experience than on many controllers at this kind of price. I'm not entirely sold on the skeuomorphic design of the jogs. The 1200 style strobe dots serve no real function on a static platter, and the suspicion of style coming before substance is reinforced by the LEDs at the side, which have literally no purpose whatsoever, besides looking kind of cool. I'm not exactly sure how the jogs attach to the unit, but there is a rather unnerving amount of flex when you push down on them. It doesn't seem to affect the performance, but it's a strange experience, a bit like scratching on old belt drive turntables. Sound quality is okay, but the overall output volume is not as loud as I'd like, considering that using the power supply is mandatory. Low output is normally a symptom of devices using USB power only, and it's forgivable in that kind of situation. It's confounded by the curious output arrangement. The master has no volume control at all, and the booth output is simply an attenuator, with no way to boost the volume in any way. Headphone volume is also slightly underwhelming with all the cans I tried, and there's no way to blend between Q and master, an essential for the type of gigs where I might use a controller like this with no booth monitor. There are no individual gain controls on the unit, which seems to be a trend on budget Serato controllers and not one that I like very much. You can adjust channel gains with a shift function on the browse knob, but there's no visual feedback. Serato's auto gain is okay, but not perfect, and I'd rather see physical controls in place. There is an aux input on an eighth inch jack and a mic on a quarter inch, both of which are activated with a single button. Neither input remains live when the unit isn't hooked up to the software though, so it's not an emergency aux in solution. The pads have a nice feel, being rubbery but not too squishy, and are very responsive. There are four pad modes, two of which have no function in Serato intro, which seems like a wasted opportunity, especially as the looping controls are entirely located on top of the unit, sharing buttons with the effects panel. I found that arrangement rather confusing when gigging with the jog vision. On a number of occasions, I would try and activate an effect or a loop and find myself doing the opposite. Moving even some simple beat loop options to the pads instead would have made all that far simpler. The rest of the controls are perfectly acceptable for a $300 controller, if nothing to write home about. It's a shame the crossfader is a short, non-standard length, as it means there's no prospect of throwing in an inner fader mini for the scratchers who might find the jog wheels appealing. The pitch faders are pretty high resolution, but very short, which makes manual beat matching more of a chore than it really should be. The last thing to mention is the air effects, which lets you control a low pass filter by waving your hand about. A fun little feature, but slightly hamstrung by the fact that turning it off with your hand still in the zone means the filter stays on until you press the button a second time. It will always be a novelty addition for me. Fundamentally, the Jog Vision is a fun little controller, 300 bucks. Recommend it to your cousin or to your friend who wants to get into DJing and try it out, not drop loads of money. The Jog Vision's cool. And you get them onto that Serato DJ ecosystem, it's easy for them to upgrade later on to bigger and better stuff. So from that point of view, this thing is cool. It's great, it's fun. Um, they'll enjoy playing on it. You've got little you know, novelty things like the air effects and all that kind of stuff, that's all good. Um, and they don't need to worry too much about advanced looping and all that kind of stuff. But for a working DJ, yeah, it's not really appropriate. I'd love to see Hercules do a real pro bit of kit. 
I'd be really interested to see what they did. If I said to Hercules, right, make me something for 800 bucks. That's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see them come into that pro arena now because they've got some good ideas. They've got some interesting ideas. They're quirky, they're different. They're thinking outside the box, but this ain't for me. It's just not for me. There you go. Thank you very much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.